Hello, this is Nancy Christie Moore back again for part two of glazing with your watercolors or your acrylics. So come on over here to the demonstration table and we'll get started. Today we're using what I used in the last video and I finished this one up with a blue glaze or what I call a cool glaze, so I'm going to come back again with a warm glaze. Now there's something you need to realize. You can make as many glazes on your painting as you'd like. There is no limit to glazing. Again, we're working on a dry sheet of paper. I'm sure you can all tell it's not wet. And we're going to start making some strong strokes so that you can understand what's happening here. As I go around the page, I'm not trying for anything specific in this because I, I just want you to understand what's happening here with the glazing technique. One of the beautiful things that we can do with this glazing, not only leaving things, things being what's already painted in the painting, but we can go back and find new areas that we can emphasize, maybe areas that are more toned down now and we want to increase their value. So now you can see this painting is getting to be a little more focused and I've left a nice large area of light. That's actually a painting, a part of the painting I have not painted into. I can go over to another part and put the darker glaze over it. And that begins to make the painting into something a little more discernible. Again, we'll try it with the cool glaze on this one. So that you can see as I'm going, I'm leaving some of these areas. Now I do realize this is an abstract, so because it's abstract, we don't really, I don't really necessarily need to be making anything, but when you are doing a glaze, you might have something in mind, a specific shape. It's good to have nice strong shapes in your painting, but it's good to know where those shapes are going. So that's something you have to keep in mind. And if you're doing something representational, you probably already know the shapes that you are wanting to emphasize. In this painting, it's just an abstract, so I don't really have anything in mind as far as a particular shape. I am just painting to demonstrate what can happen when you use this glazing technique and the beautiful colors you can get out of it. Alright, this is what happens and I hope you can try this at home. Have fun!